for targeting the pelvic floor, all four squats with rocking. We're going to have our hands spread out on the floor underneath our shoulders or slightly forward of your shoulders. Use every part of your palms, every length of your fingers. Have your knees underneath your hips, with your knees wide and your feet closer than your hips, with your toes tucked under. So first of all, we're going to pelvic tilt until we find a pelvic neutral position. So tailbone slightly lifted, ribs trays lifted up into your body, shoulders down, chest wide, neck long. In this position, we're going to practice breathing, belly breathing, or breathing with our whole core. So we're going to breathe in, our rib cage will expand, and our belly will go down towards the floor and enlarge as much as it can. And then as you breathe out, your rib cage will contract and your belly button will just lift up slightly and automatically as your sides go in. When we've practiced a few core breaths, we're going to make the pelvic floor squat, the all fours squat. We're going to breathe in as you come forward, and we're going to breathe out to go back. We're breathing in through the nose, and we're breathing out through the nose or mouth. Long breaths out. Remember, your in-breath should be half as long as your out-breath. So out breath nice and long, could be much longer than that if you like. Don't let your back shape change. Now we're going to start to take our hips from side to side. So we're going to take your hips just slightly over to one side as if you're trying to sit on one heel as you go back. Breathing in forward. Breathing out back. So I'm going to start to increase my range here because I want to come as far forward as I can without my back shape changing and then as far back as I can without my back shape changing. And I'm slightly sitting over to one side each time. And now we're going to add a pelvic floor unlock. So as you slide back to try to sit on one heel, you're breathing out and you make as if you're going to release your urine, as if you're just relaxing your whole pelvic floor. And then as you come forward, you get right to your range of going forward and you do a hold of your urine. And then you go all the way back over to the other side. And it's a release. And all the way forward, nothing until you get to your end range. And then try and just tighten the front triangle of your pelvic floor. Back as well if you like, but not just back, it needs to be the front. And when you're doing that, you're holding and you're pulling up inside you. So it's not just your sphincter. So coming forward, inhale, hold your pee, exhale, over to one side, release your pee. So once you've got going doing the full all four squats with the rocking, try and do maybe three or four going to each side. <coughs> 